Hi guys, it's Kath. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful miniature room divider. This is inspired by the iconic Japanese cherry blossoms. It's in 1 to 12 scale and folds up like a real room divider. Let's get started. The first thing you need is some wooden coffee stirrers. These are 5.5 inches long and a bit too short, so I take two and glue them together. That's better. Make two of these and glue them together for thickness. Make sure to stagger the joints so that the glue ends are not in the same place. Once that's dry, cut off a 6.5 inch length. Make two of these. I also cut out two 1.5 inch lengths. Form them into a rectangle and glue them together. I'm just using regular wood glue for this. Then I take some thin craft matchsticks. Cut out a 1.5 inch length. Make five of these. Place them horizontally into the rectangle, spacing them 1 inch apart. Glue them in place and this is what you should have. Now cut out 12 1 inch lengths for more matchsticks. Place two in each row making sure to evenly space them out. Look how pretty that is already. I make three of these for my room divider. For some color, I take this dark brown acrylic paint and cover all the pieces making sure I get into all the tight corners. Once that's done, we can start making the paper screen. For this, I'm using parchment paper. It's translucent for light to pass through and not waxy so we can draw on it. Cut out a 5 and 3 fourths by 6 and a quarter inch rectangle. With the long side facing, you take down the corners and we're ready to begin our design. With a gray sharpie, I begin drawing the trunk of the cherry blossom tree. Fill it in and pull the lines upward making sure to add angles for the branches. Thicken the branches by going over the same area several times. For the flowers, take a red sharpie and add splotches randomly across all the branches. Make as many or as few as you like. For the finishing detail, I take a thin black sharpie and go over all the edges to find the lines. Now I just cut the paper into 3 1 and 3 4 inch long sections. With some E6000 glue, I add a drop to all the corners of the wood frame. Position the paper in place. For the back of this divider, I take some more wooden coffee stirrers and paint them dark brown. Now just glue them around the borders and the frame is finished. Do this for all three sections and you have yourself a beautiful completed blossom tree. To attach them together, I flip all of them upside down and grab some miniature hinges. These are super tiny and perfect for 1 to 12 scale. With E6000 glue, add two hinges to each joint. Once that's dry, you can move the divider sections very smoothly. Fold them inward just a bit so it can stand by itself. I love how this turned out and I hope you did too. If you don't like cherry blossoms, you can make any design you want. If you guys decide to recreate this, make sure to send me a picture on Instagram because I love seeing what you guys create. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.